I mean, I've only tried if it works so far, so we'll, we'll see. Stars in the sky are going out, one by one. But no one notices it. No one can stop it. Except us. Hey, like a do we? Racing to the last place where there is still hope. I need to make it before, before it's too late. I like how it's telling her nothing, basically. <laughs> Sounds of agony will quickly fade. The world will be destroyed. Even the memory of it will be gone. And even there's, if there is absolutely no chance of bringing it all back, there will always be someone who's willing to do the impossible. That's us, I assume. In a place without space, without time, without memories. Where am I? I can't see anything except this path. My head is killing me, I remember only... A skeleton with a staff in the sky. This darkness was coming from him. Did he destroy everything around here? Just standing here won't do me any good, I guess. Okay. Switch between adventure, traveling through the map, and planning. Stop modes, press the switch. Right click or space. And tell where to go, I guess. I'll be able to find some shelter before nightfall if such thing as a night still even exists without a sky, of course. Any progress at the top of the screen. Okay. Ah, okay, I guess we run in a circle and every day there's a new circle. I don't know. A new loop, I guess. Living ball of slime, quite a nuisance. They just chest anything they can. Stab it! Hey, I remember this creature. Maybe I just need to freshen up my memory and everything will go back to normal. Traveling, fighting, and most other actions are done automatically. That way I can't affect them directly. So we're just stuck here sitting. Seeing things happen. Just step over the slime, the tank to explode and die. Yeah, but I don't know if I have enough health to do that. Hey, bro. Look at us destroying. Hard to fight with your bare hands. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. I think there's a weapon in the remains of this thing that's not fully digested. There we go. We already deal 4 to 6 damage. Remember there was a grove nearby. Are these even my memories? Or do they belong to the slime? So the 4 to 6 damage increased doubled our damage. So I guess we have a base damage and it just increased by then, okay. You can use cards that are left after defeating enemies to add various new objects to the map. That's what planning mode is for. Drag the card to a suitable space to remember. Plan. General rustle of leaves, a crack of dry branch and a feeling of being watched. Spawns a red wolf every two days. Wolf can move to an adjacent tile. I suppose that's a good thing? Like, we want more enemies? one way to find out. No, no. Yeah, your journey. Like, I mean, the character just looks terrible. I don't know. Okay. Only 64,000 more XP from killing rats, and we can take on the big bad guy. It's like in a Terry game. It seems a bit like it, yeah. Was right, some emotional stress, a few colorful images, and a bit of adrenaline, everything will be forgotten like a bad dream. Or remembered as a bad. Yeah. It's good that nobody is listening. Full arm. That's the same damage, but it gives us defense, okay. Get new items and cards during battle, as you've probably already noticed. Some items have unique abilities, as to most of the cards. 
Bring over an item or card you can inspect its properties. Okay. I mean, that seems better. But does defense too? I mean, I assume it reduces damage, but does it reduce damage by two? Is it percentage based? We don't know. Forest. 1% hero attack speed. Oh. Well, yeah. Oops. Oh, we can. Go. It seems to only give us 1% attack speed, so we just place it in the corner. That. This has two health and two more health for every adjacent rock or mount. Oh, so we want that somewhere where we can put more rocks nearby. Let's put that here then. Wait, so there was a mountain over there, and here's a forest. The world is just like new. Branches and stone in my backpack are a sure sign of that. Oh. Ah, so when we replace them, we get some resources too. Some of your actions will reveal resources that you will need later on, but not right now. But it shouldn't stop you from looking at them right now. Yeah, we did that. Let's continue. Do you have flat damage reduction? It would make it easier to understand. I don't know if it's... I mean, I assume it's balanced, so... I think it's time to get some rest. Let's so have a journey on a looped path. Okay, so we just run in circle. And you will decide when it's time for the hero to return to camp. Ada, either you are fangs and claws of your enemies, of course. You can retreat almost any time, but a special animation will let you know when it's safer to do so. Oh. I don't know what safer means, like, we don't die? It seems like we can die, which we are still fine. So I don't know what the, like, what's the loose condition? Thought of leaving your battlefield and going back to your cozy camp has passed through your mind. What a timely idea. And it's just around the corner. So I guess, if, yeah, if you do it in camp, you're fine. Stay. Hold turn on auto return. It's doing nothing holding it. Can I continue here? I don't want to go back yet. Oh, well, we have to. It's like an interesting game, but it seems it's. It seems so. My my only fear is, um, a lot of stuff seems automatic, like all the battles, and I feel like they might take too long. But we'll see. I guess we retreat. You retreat in a game, you release a certain amount of resources. Oh, okay. But if I do it in camp, I don't. And speed up animation. Um. There was one where, like, the walking I could speed up, but I don't think the combat. I don't know. Someone knows that. It's cold and dark here. A small fire can solve both these problems. Sure. Nice place to set up camp. There's, <laughs> like, nothing. Okay. It is a nice place. This is when all resources you've gathered will come in handy. Who would have thought? You have just enough wood and stone to make a campfire. What a nice coincidence. It's planned. I planned it all. The campfire using the building function while in a camp. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's actually quite a bit. Oh, it doesn't tell me what those do. Oh. Lose 75% when you die. Hmm. Just a tutorial, you don't lose any. Ah, oh, that might be true too. Oh, okay, here. It would be nice if it told us what these would do. Maybe it tells us once we're out of the tutorial. So we could plan on what we would want to get. There's a bridge, river. Okay. Campfire. You restore 20% of this max HP upon entering campfire tile. Oh, the campfire tile counts as the one we run through the loop, I assume. He did it. Click anywhere to complete the good tutorial. In the annoying tutorial, you can now start your first expedition. Or not, do as you wish. That was actually quite short and nice. Oh, I don't know what the one means, but... Oh, we, oh, we can look at the close stuff now. No, so we would need three wood, two stone, and... Get food? I don't know. 
It might make sense. I mean, it's a field kitchen. 10% of the camp to the campfire's healing power unlocks the blood growth card. Potion heals. 4% of max HP, you can take up to 3 potions. Okay. So we can tank potions with that. And they refill at camp. Interesting. As you start an expedition with basic warrior gear, unlocks the ability to craft tools for the camp if the supply depot is built. Our supply depot is up here. I mean, we just have to try them all. I mean, some of them. Like, Field Kitchen is obvious what it does. I don't know, maybe there's more potions or something. Guaranteed there aren't as many zombies near the base camp as other games, but I guess we want zombies for our XP. So what do... What does the, in, on the right side, those numbers mean? Like, one sword, three... I don't know. This is, needs a chair and this and the eggs. I, I have no idea. We'll find it out. I guess the only thing we can do is do an expedition, right? Let's start an expedition. This path. Everything is wrong, but I remember. Looks like a completely different place, and it's empty again. Do my actions have any meaning? No. Like I have a choice. I. Need to give up and cry to save the world, I'm the worst saver of all. Let's do it. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. There's... So there's game speed here, but it's only twice. Map completion when this bar is filled, the boss of this chapter will... ...appear on the campfire tile. Oh. So what if we leave before the map is completed, though? Oh, well, we'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out, we'll find out. I'm just stating what I'm thinking about. Aye, you foul beast. Okay, got a shield. It's a very addicting game. Well, that's good. I mean, as a streamer, I need addicting games. Because I'm building the item that increased game speed in mid game. Huh. But I feel like. Oh, I should um, not fight before I equip stuff. Like, for now, it's fine. But I feel like if you've played the game for a few hours, you might want to. 87 max HP, well that's insane. 30% movement speed within its range, 20% attack speed for all units. I like no. All units sounds like the enemy gets the attack speed too though, so I don't know if that's good. I'll try it though. We have another beacon. Do they stack? Like do we attack super fast here? Spawns a red wolf every two days. The wolf can move to an adjacent tile. Okay. I don't know how important moving to adjacent tiles is. But... Image measure. You know, spoilers, I want to see how things go. Well, they're exact same thing. Can I dual wield? No. Variation 9%. Yeah, that's the point where I would need to know what defense exactly does. I can't. Oh, I. Oh, I'm right-clicking by accident. I guess we can't click um, use these yet. We have to unlock them. Damage to all two. Interesting. 
I heard of nuclear, it came out, out like a week ago or something, I think. So. Let's try damage to all. I like that. Okay, we build a mountain up here. And we have space. Vampire Mansion. Add vampires to battles on adjacent tiles. Okay. Oh, wow. I don't know how many vampires we want to fight, but it seems nice. Once is wider on adjacent tile once a day. Like, we could make a nasty spot down here with lots of MD. I guess that's not a good thing, though. Don't suggest at the start of each loop. Cemetery spawns a skeleton every three days. We could do it. No way. What if we spawn a skeleton that becomes a ghost? Raise any established tile to raise monsters from the road. Oh. Interesting. I don't think we want to do that yet. Leave defense is a flat damage reduction, five different. What's well, minus five damage? That would be my assumption, but it's hard to know. I guess I should look at the stats. Back off, human. A vampire, where are your lands? Farmers need help, I would be glad to offer it. No more lands, no more flock. Only hundreds of years of emptiness. And hundreds of years of hunger. Save yourself while you still can. I don't know how long I will be able to keep my head straight. What hundreds of years are you talking about? Mind is easy to trick, but you can't trick my hunger. It demands its share. Every sip, every drop of blood will go to sage here. Okay. I'm too weak, but you can help me. I will set the scrambled work right. Right. I'm doing this not for just myself, but for everyone. In the name of good. Be grateful for my hard work and just let me plead you try. Sure. Oh, damage 3.13. But we have four defense, so we shouldn't be taking damage from the slime at all. Artificial life, liquid... So they're getting the attack speed too, okay. Maybe it can't, like, maybe the damage just can't be dropped below M1, so it reduces the slime's damage to 1, and this one to 2, because, I mean, rounded it's 6 damage. Empires often own our lands. They keep the peace and help our settlements to prosper. This won't do at all. Now they are just pale shadows of their former selves, both physically and mentally. Currently, the blood of former creatures can't sustain them. I wasn't joking about the hunger. Even the creatures that stand near him are imbued with the power to devour someone else's life. Oh, so he's buffing nearby units? Well, that's not ideal. Oh, we're getting pep. Okay. And pieces of pebbles from one preserved rock. Oh boy, that's gonna take a while. Defense seems weird. You had 200 defense in one run. Enemies attacks were only around 60. Huh. Maybe, yeah, maybe there's. It can't be reduced below certain numbers for enemies. Because then, with enough defense, you would just be immune to everything. Yeah, they're dealing 3 and 2 damage. Oh. That 
doesn't make sense. Heals 2 HP at the start of each day. Ooh, that's fine. Let's put that up here. The random resource after placing anything to an adjacent tile. Oh. Well, we should have built that first, I guess. chest not shooting back nice defense to attack speed and evasion that's pretty nice oh if i replace armor the old one just disappears Interesting. we can't swap for items when yeah i guess it just disappears okay we got pebbles out of the Symmetry. Interesting. So if we, we'll see if this counts as adjacent or no. It does. Okay, good. Scrap metal. I assume they can spawn on my campfire tile, but. It's recycled, kind of. Well, I don't know if the locals are happy with us, um, you know, removing their headstones, but we need the stone. I guess they're all the same. Oh. Like, there's a lot of stuff spawning, because we're not killing stuff fast enough. Like, every day things spawn. We're slow. Ooh. I assume Vampirism is just life bleach. So I want that. It's recycled. Does it? Maybe with enough life leech, like you want hard, easy, hard, easy enemies, so you can heal up in the weaker ones. Yeah, it seems like for every enemy we get stuff, so we want we want them all. Magic damage to evasion six. And we lose a lot of max HP though. I think we keep what we have. Then again, evasion would be better. Oh. Counter. Ooh, reaching per second. Well, I like that. So if I place this here and then put something at here it should get treasure from both, right? Hopefully. Ray spiders attack? I'll have to pay attention to that. Ooh, that seemed like a tough fight. Yeah it is. Okay, things things are getting harder. She changes from a complete metamorphosis. I have no idea what that means. FHP for each adjacent rock or mountain. Well, yes, please.
Yeah, those vampires are hurting me. Sure. Wonder if that's worth it. Like damage to all isn't too great right now. Like it's not much. Yeah, let me figure things out. For now, it's too early. I just want to try things. Part of this game, every move I've blown is a negative effect. Also, I think so. It's the maximum number of monsters on adjacent tiles. Ah, how far is that? I mean, yeah, maybe we don't want too much stuff with the vampires here. Let's do that for now. I'm a bit worried. I guess I should build around the mountain here. Magic damage. Damage to all in deviation. I feel like I shouldn't add more enemies right now. We're struggling already getting around one time. Ooh. Well, that's a lot of mountains. Oh. Plus 120 HP, 5 additional HP for every adjacent mountain rock. Once a harpy every two days? Oh, okay. Can we build an even bigger rock? Wait, where did the goblin camp come from? Here's for every 10 mountain rock cards. Oh, there are two. Could I delete this? Oh. Interesting. Can you have one mountain at a time? Huh. <laughs> hey beard. Did you get an Atari? Oh I wish, I wish. So if I remove this, I lose I assume I lose the HP, right? I don't wanna do that, no. Hmm. We didn't heal enough. Do it. No thanks. We can try, just before we go back, we can just try deleting stuff and see what happens. How that goes for us. We need more chests, they don't fight back, so we can heal them. Ooh, look at that. A legendary weapon. I don't know if it is, but the color seems legendary. That's so much more damage. Uh, good region and vampirism. Well, hell yeah. We just increased our damage by so much. Which to all to lose vampirism, but that's a lot of defense. Those skeletons are getting stronger, no? They're dealing 10 damage now. Living. I wonder if there's like special attacks types. Like since they're living.
wolf. Spawns a red wolf every two days. The wolf can move to an adjacent tile. Yeah, I don't think I want more enemies right now. He would be so fast in that area. Finally, Meadow. I need more bonuses here. We got one stone. Nice. Yes, we, yeah, we can't get double. Now that I know how these works, I, I need to find a better spot for them. Yeah, I've seen that they seem to have a level and color. That's why I'm not checking some of them anymore. Because I'm assuming they should be worse than what we have. Maximum amount of numbers of enemies that can be in a tile, I guess. Four to five. Well, we have four here, but I think this was covered by a lantern. how many can spawn well they say how many spawn per day or but they don't say how many can be on a tile like the, those are different numbers no should be at least okay i feel like yeah for the vampires i, I only want there to be one enemy and then the vampire i don't think we want more than that so I should try to limit the numbers on those tiles. I'm assuming the vampires give good stuff, but I actually don't know. Stop. Okay. Where did these goblins come from? I don't remember remembering you. We remembered ourselves. Now give us all you've got. You've <laughs> no idea what's going on, right? Why don't you help me restore order in the world first? And then you can do anything you want. Goblin must drop. No other order in the world. Fair enough. Because I don't have any valid objection here. Oh, wait, I do have one. How about... Sword to the face. Wait, also that's a... Uh... Strange how these creatures appeared here on their own. Maybe it means everything is actually not so bad and that the world is trying to restore itself. Or that even the apocalypse isn't enough to get rid of some pests. Yeah, this ring might be better than what we have. Meadow. Battlefield. Spawns a chest at the start of each loop. 
Vaya a viajar ahora. Or in the bonus enemy? Oh. Yeah, the lander's number was by one. So I guess I need to stack them actually more. Because it's not doing much here, because, well, yeah. So we would. So I kind of want the vampire place and then lanterns nearby. That's at least my current theory. I also don't know if it's a good idea to stay until the boss spawns or if we should retreat beforehand. Yeah, we didn't build anything big here, unfortunately. Oh, is that the harpy? No. What do you mean, no? You want to save the world? You want to ask for help? Our answer is no. What did you? But why no? We see far away, we see deep inside. For a long time there has been just emptiness instead of the sky, but it doesn't stop us from seeing. The saving of the world is one-sided and naive. Each person sees their own way of saving the world. That's why no one will ever join you. Fine. I don't fully understand it, but tell me your version. What does to save the world mean to you? Fortunately and my kin, for them to be strong and to live, it's a part of the cycle of life and death. It is life itself. It is the world. To kill you and feed your remains to my starving younglings, and life will go on. How many lives does your blade give birth to by killing again and again? Only one. I don't want you or your children to die from starvation. Please try to see reason. <laughs> my mission succeed. Harpies can have all the sky and all the hunting grounds they need. Can't feed my children with your beautiful words. It's time to say goodbye. The rest of my piece even here, they follow me. Yeah. I mean, we haven't built any walls that she's jumping about over yet, but yeah. Feel awful. By fixing one evil, I'm becoming a source of another. There's no home for harpies except the highest mountains, but there's no food there. Can't imagine how they managed to survive if their mountains were cut from reality. I wonder if we combine other things enough if we get something similar going on. Actually, what happens to our items if this is full? Check it. Oh, is that the harpy flying? just gets turned into metal. Oh, okay, that's fine. How much defense do we have? 13. I think this might be worth it then. Actually, we healed quite nicely from the campfire, so we're, we're doing decent again. On a red wolf. Um, I don't see the evade chance for them. Has a soul. Even the skeletons have a soul. Look at that. Definitely better. Oh, this might be good. Magic damage, damage to all. 
Reach. I want to unlock those so we can have more gear. I think that would be pretty neat. Okay, seems like if we built more groves, we would get more wood and stuff. That would be nice too, though. Interesting how much our health went up, how tanky we are now. Then again, I guess the enemies are doing a lot more damage too. Hey, Red Korean. Yeah, my graphic card gives out. I uh, gave out. That's why tab looks like this now. Been watching for twenty minutes, and so far you understand nothing. Some games are just about your intellect. Um. I think just by watching, it's hard to understand it. Let, let me give you a rundown. It's not complicated at all. So there's two um, things to the game. There's your base, where we haven't done anything yet, so I don't know much about that. And then there's this loop here. So here's your camp, and then you run around this path and fight everything on the way. You, I can't control the fights, they just happen. What I can do is whenever we fight enemies, I get some items that I can equip. So depending what I think is good, we can equip here. And then I can sometimes find these cards or whatever you want to call them where I can modify the map. I can build these mountains that give me more health. Or I can say I want to spawn a grove on the path and then um, wolves will spawn here. And we'll gather some resources when we run through them. So basically I'm running in this circle and fight enemies and try to find more items and more resources. That's how far I am for now. And then you have some buildings that modify things, like this one gives us more movement speed and gives attack speed for everyone in the area. So the only thing you're doing is basically changing the map. I I really I think it's a really neat idea so far. Um and then yeah, like the, the grove spawns a red wolf every two days. So in the top left this is the day progress and then this is when the boss spawns i i don't know how hard the boss is or um yeah you can always retreat here to your camp i i don't know if there's a downside to doing that early or if it's better to do it late so for now we are staying here until i feel like i have to return And these fights just happen automatically, like I'm doing nothing right now. But you see I'm getting getting some items. Cemetery spawns, buttons every three days. We might be able to last until the boss. I don't know if it's a good idea to fight him, but you'll find out. Oh, it can be a but I had the same issue, like when I looked at someone playing the game, I was like, I have no idea what's going on. Or these meadows heal me for 2 HP at the start of each day. So they're just nice, but I don't need to build them anywhere specific. These treasuries give me even um, resources whenever I build something adjacent, that's why I'm building the meadow around them. We could put another beacon. Oh, I don't know why we can't build the beacon here. I guess there's, there's just some restrictions. Does it also change what is fully? Once a gargoyle every three days. Oh. Oh. Okay. Good to know, I guess.
Health and vampirism sounds pretty neat, though. Hmm. And again, our defense isn't high, so I want some defense, too. Well, I assumed fighting gargoyles gives us um, better resources and stuff. Maybe. So unless, yeah, unless we're struggling, I don't want to destroy anything yet. I'm getting so many vampire blazes. Jeez. We can put this here. Nice. But another treasury. I like that. Wait, we got two. I need more things to put near them. I guess I could put mountains there. We don't get as big of a buff though. But maybe that's worth it. Gives you a prompt when you press it. Oh. Well, I don't want to press it, man. That's um, a lot of damage, actually. They're the same level, and the other one is legendary, so I'm surprised. What's your difference? I feel like... Damage to all and counter must getting better and better over time. Or if you build for a lot of enemies. Well, if you go for small amounts, vampirism and stuff might be better. If we get more resources, if we let something like this go through, we'll try to pay attention. Did they do 60 damage to me? How are they dealing 70 damage when they only deal 46? Do they crit? What's going on with them? They. They got nasty. One of the goblin camp appeared. Too good now. Okay, we're getting higher level stuff though. A lot more reaching. I feel like I want to return when we get to camp. We'll activate it for now.
because I'm taking a beating, like we're half health already. We have a uh, multiple lots of enemy places. <laughs> also, see what happens if this is full. Oh, things are disappearing. the vampires here, I don't think I'll make it with them. I don't know how we spawned the plot path there, but okay. Guess that's the thing. Does this boss spawn? It say wait. Appear on the campfire time. Wait, so I can't even go back? Like if we go here, he'll spawn before we can return, right? I guess we have to retreat anyway before that. Oh, well, I guess we fight those spiders and then we leave. you can adjust pause in the end of the loop oh well, I mean we're not making it there anyway so it doesn't matter I don't think we'll be making it Losing all my oblivion things. It's clear here. Um, what did I do? Oh. It's time to face the destiny of this world. I guess we spawned the boss. Music got way more intense suddenly. Wait, I thought the boss appears just after a time, not based on the cards you put down. Oh, I'll have to pay attention to that. I'm getting way too many treasuries, like I can't even use them all.
Oh yeah, I, I just don't know if I'm gonna make it um, to the campfire even. That's my concern right now. Also, I guess I should have looked at this new gear. I mean, I don't get anything for spawning more cards, do I? Okay. I wish I could re remove the other vampire building. That would be nice. I guess it's one fight with a vampire, right? That might be fine. You do when you move to craft. Oh, that's true, yeah. It doesn't spawn one instantly, so yeah, I guess I could. I can't put them there. Yeah, it would have been nice to have those earlier. What are these stats now? Rage in reasons after an alley dies. Oh. Yeah. I wish there was we could tell in which order we want to kill them. Like there's nothing we can do about it. Right, it will transform the metal. Like you mean here? Ah, oh. I thought the metal get transformed because the treasury was there. Oh, I didn't realize that. The second one do something? No. Discount? No. Okay. Do anything? No. Interesting. We keep all resources. Okay, so if you retreat and the camp, we keep everything, which is good. I mean, I, I kind of want to see how strong the boss is, but I feel like we're low health. So we'll retreat. Because I want to see the what we can do in our base with all these resources now. I guess our camp got better. I can't believe it. Hey, everybody. Why has managed to return? Oh, I didn't realize we were a boy. Okay. Survivors, does this mean I'm not alone anymore? Where did you come from? There's still a place without darkness. You don't know where we came from, or we can't remember. These people you see are only a small part of what's left from the group, I think. Was it on a joke? <laughs> okay. I guess good thing I retreated then. You're not sure? We're not sure. We reached that conclusion because of the abandoned luggage and left older daily patients. Okay. Each day new signs of presence of people that as far as everyone here knows have never even been with us. It's like we forgot them. You forgot? 
Exactly, it's like people disappear every day and we instantly forget they even existed. Almost as if we forget the place we came from, and our families, and maybe even ourselves. My name is Yota. That's the part I still remember, nobody else's memory is in much better shape. That's why I remember so little about myself. Everything is forgotten. Wait, you said that I'd managed to return. It means you remembered I was here. Yes, that's why it's so important to us. We saw you leave, but you were gone before we could approach you. Listen, we can't wander around in this emptiness anymore. There's a campfire and a few sleeping bags here. A real luxury in these dark times. What do you say? Oh, of course. I'd be very grateful if we could team up. I want to restore everything. I want to remember the world as it was before. But there's no point to it without other people. It's too lonely without them. Remembering the world, I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm too exhausted. But we'd be glad if you could help us, and we'd be glad to help you. Dustin asked us to go with you. Well, okay. I don't know how you managed to return, but for us leaving the group is too dangerous. But we could make a nice group and fight everything. And Calliope and Kellys? No. I mean, maybe we can get a gun. I'll ask no such thing of you, for now. I just want to have a place to return to. A place where I can hear other people's voices. Okay. We're not talking about helping you. Here are the few things that survived the cataclysm and don't vanish away. Can't be forgotten. Take them. You might need them. Oh, nice. Survivor stand. Can be destroyed, but its inhabitants will gladly move to better housing if you build it. So I guess position matters too. Okay. Wait, wasn't there statistics? Where did statistics go? Show high building levels and improvement. Oh, so that's the level. Okay. Built. Well, apparently we don't have enough metal for the smith. Okay. Likes the blood grove card. Can we build both? Do we have enough? Actually, no, we don't have enough food, so we can either or. This is 10% so can fast healing power. So I guess... Oh. It's 10% healing. This is 8 per... turn. These potions can be refilled. I guess it depends if the swamp or is better or the blood growth. Field Kitchen sounds better, but I want to try the potions, how that works. I, I don't know if it matters where we build it, but here we go. It's a miracle that we could find some fertile soil, and that we were able to save some seed of precious healing herbs. The real miracle is that all of these healing Pieces and bombs still have any effect. We already lost many people because of the cataclysm. It would be nice to not lose more to disease. And this person can also help you. Take a bottle or two on your trip. The chances of getting back and help will be much bigger. I mean, that sounds right. Oh, we unlocked those. Nice. Unlocks the ability to gain special traits after killing monsters in the expedition. Unlocks the village. I mean, that sounds nice. Ooh. I actually can build this. This is cool. All empty tiles around the farm are transformed into gardens. After an expedition, it gives you one ration for every completed loop. 
but not more than there are garden tiles around the farm. You can build something over the garden unless you better to craft food. Supply depot is built. Unless the wheat fields come. So we want this built somewhere where there's a lot of space around it then. I want to see those special crates. So we could try to get out here, so we have, like, a, we could maybe build the farm here then and get some farming later, I think. Hmm, so that's how it works. Instead of remembering something, you can just learn it again. That's a nice trick. There's no ill intent. Without education, our world would be left to the savages. We two could learn a few things, though. We could all get together and share our useful knowledge and skills. Nah. I already know all I need to. Leave learning to the kids. Don't be silly. First lesson, learn to like learning. That would make life easier for both of us. Okay. Oh, there's an upgrade here. Great building. This two is in two potions healing effect. There's two potions to carry with you. Oh. Camp's item slot. I don't know what the camp's item slots mean. Dismantle building now. Table supply slots for furniture, for tools, max equipped items. I'm still not sure. Looks the town card. Good enough. I guess expedition again? Oh, what's that? The one enemies have some. Ah. Wait, oh, we can select different classes? Ooh. I love those. Or maybe we get different classes at some point. Two percent for each second of the fight. So I guess it's for the warrior. It's nice if you're really tanky, like the longer the fight goes. But then again, I still want to kill stuff fast. Deck building. Wait, there's deck building? Oh, we could get those cars. It's mosquito every three days. All healing effects are lethal here. Except for the potions, they are still on your side. So I, I guess instead of healing, I, I take damage. That doesn't sound nice. Yields HP upon entering gifts here quest. Well, that sounds great. I want that. What's the effect of a day's passing on adjacent tiles? Huh. So you could boost other things? Interesting. the swamp. I want to try the swamp, but it doesn't seem good right now. Oh. We want chest spawning. Oh. Oh, I, so you either get both or none. Interesting. Well, I like all those. Mm. 
wasn't a fan of the beacon yet. I guess, like, if, if I remove cards, we have more chances of getting the other ones, right? Like, we could remove some. So, yeah. Do I want to fight vampires again? Like, they gave me trouble. But I assume they give us better loot. So. Let me try this. Actually, let's try Chrono Crystals too. Well, and again, I don't know what I would want a chrono. Yeah, maybe you don't. You give better gear? Oh, okay. I don't think I can do anything here. Well, let's uh, go then. Yourself and XP points. Oh, we have XP points now? We didn't have that before, right? Yeah, I guess that might be from the gymnasium thing we got. Well, now I'm curious what we're gonna get. Oh, I can just use them myself, I guess. Oh. They do get refilled, so I have to remember to use them. Like, to get refilled, so we should at least use one at all times. For every loop, at least. And then later, at use two for every loop. I'll get more damage. We could make the vampire area here. And then we do low spawn stuff here. Like, we don't want things that spawn fast. Uh, it's too early for damage to all, I think. Oh, that was some nice loot. Every two days, that's not too bad. Just when HP up on entering gives you a quest. Get after them. But they can move to an adjacent tile, which I kind of don't want to. I could do it here, and then sometimes they walk up. How does these work? How do I use my potion? by focusing your life is in danger. But can't I just use it now? I 
can't use your potion. But what's... Oh. What's the point of them, man? Hey, Logan. They get used automatically, but... Oh. Okay. You mean this? When it hits there? Well, I definitely would have wanted the other one then, not the potions. Does it use the excess potions when we go past here at least? That would be nice. P, that's good. Damage to all vampires. Yes, please. Got a goblin camp there. That's fine. We're spawning our piece again. is actually good for us. What's that? Is that a champion slime? I wish I could build stuff while the fight is going on. Keep spawned abandoned on adjacent tile every two days. And it's where villages appears for every two village turns. Oh. I guess I'm spawning a lot of random stuff right now. Yeah, every kind of bonus negative effects. Yeah, it's nice figuring it out though. Ooh, all three shield. A lot of fence. Oh yeah, it's an automatic imposter. Let's see. Quest goal. Oh, those are the quests. That's 200% HP. Like, he has 200% more, or...? That's... I mean, he is pretty tanky, so I guess. Nice bonus. I don't know what the quest bonus was. I 
can't wait until we get the first skill. Oh. Nice. Yeah, it seems it's about find like finding the right cards, building the correct layout, and then. I don't know if I want another vampire town. Let's not do that for now. Yeah, I figured out the crown is the signal for the quest. I don't know what killing it exactly gives me yet. Still have to figure that out. Ooh, that's a nice upgrade. Skeleton every three days. Every three days is good for all vampire things. Once a day. I'll do that down here. Would have been nice if um, we found another treasure thing this time early, but it's okay. Got a loot, more XP. Uh, all the vampires. <laughs> wow. I mean, we could do it here. And we don't spawn much here yet. Oh, they give better gear to cost mobs. I mean, that would make sense in more XP. X speed. I think we go with the evasion for now. Vampires and bandits. Well, there's goblins here at best. Oh, I guess we could get bandits and yeah. I might destroy the bandits if I get the option to do so. We leveled, oh, up here. I think we got something. You know, nothing just like vampires. <laughs> well, that's the uh, reason enough. Hey, I don't remember you. You don't look like a local. It's because I'm not. I see. And you think you can just wander these parts without consequences? Times are rough, you know. Nothing to bite, nothing to wet one's whistle. And we have to deal with strangers who have no sympathy for our poverty. What? Think you're better than us? No? Did I guess right? Is this the correct answer? Because I'm getting the impression this is one of those cases where my answer has zero influence on what happens next. Well, you've got insight, and it's the only thing you will keep today. Wait, when, when did we get that? Oh, that's better. Come to think of it, murderers and thieves are part of this world too. If my mission is to return everything back to normal, should I be happy they're appearing again. On the other hand, being disgusted with murder and theft is also part of this world. I guess I don't owe it to anyone to be happy. Open every three days. What's the purpose of the game? Um, I guess to beat the bosses? Like... I assume there's a final boss at some point. We haven't beaten the first boss yet. I haven't even fought him yet. Oh, that's gonna be a rough fight. Oh no, the level up. I forgot. Thank you. We're getting a lot of stuff right now, too. Okay, level up first. 
the new set of sweet trades doesn't spend points. Oh, if I don't like those two, I can just... The difference, interesting. Plus 0 0.52 HP for an adjacent roadside tile while passing a tile. I don't really understand this one. Heals your full hand of Oblivion cards. From now on, using Oblivion card heals your hero by 10% of its max HP. Ooh, that could be nice at the end. Like, if you're just about to fight the boss or something. But we would just lose most of them right now. I don't know what loop HP is. And then chasing roadside tile while passing a tile. I'm, I'm not sure what it means. I might just do this just to see what other options we can get. Every time you pass a roadside tile, like, man, that's all. Oh, times loop. Oh, okay, so we're in the third loop, so we'd, we'd heal 1.5 health every time we pass anything. That's actually pretty nice. I saw two times even loot, loop HP. I saw I didn't realize it's just loop and not loop HP. Okay. I still kind of want to see what other options there are, but I think I might like this one. And we'll charge some meadow or other stuff. Wait, but the uh, meadow can't be near a road, no? Well, let's see what else we can get. Every morning the hero sound is filled with sunlight, causing its next attack to deal two times damage to all. Ah. There's a chance of one hit for stunning target for one second. Okay. He rests into battle head on. His first attack has a 75% chance to stun each enemy for one second. Hmm. I like those two. I guess Shield Master is better for long fights and Battering Ram is good for short fights. Beacon Metal Lantern. Okay. But I guess they're not. They're usually not on the road, right? They're usually a bit further. I don't think I can build Meadows that close. I think I'm gonna go with Shield Master. Like that. I can't. I guess I can't build it here, but usually. give only one quest oh i thought we would get a quest each loop you know growth what did i build here oh that's the village I mean, we get hit a lot, so that 
Yeah. Seems to be pretty neat. Oh, look at that. Shield. It's a bit less defense, but everything else is way better. Let's give one quest for Lou. But I didn't see the... Oh, maybe you have to run through the town to get the quest. Wait, I'm getting so much here. My religious. Putting a vampire mansion next to a town to change it. Interesting. Does it work if I put a town there afterwards? Try. Directly adjacent. Oh, okay. Well, then next time. It's a lot of different things going on. It's gonna be hard to find them all out. Broke my long sword. Like, this long sword seems to be way better damage, no? Isn't very fast coming with uh, information. It's true. Uh, I can turn the sounds up if people think it's too long. I guess it's part of the exploring, but sometimes it would be nice to actually, yeah, get direct information. Nice thing nowadays with. Um, I guess with streams, there's a lot more information to be found. Oh, loop here. I was going to make a joke about a movie of loop, but it was too one sided. Oh boy. Just reach the other side of it, JJ. You'll get there soon. Maybe that's how you win the game, to get to the other side of the loop. Uh, I mean, that's pretty neat. So we'll get, um, get another skill too. I like it. Twelve percent attack speed. You know what? I think yeah, it's really gonna come down to getting the right stats and then building the right town around it. I don't think I'm doing the right things yet. I'll level up after that, nice. So we're here again. The HP drops below 30%, your regeneration is doubled. Like forever? Recounter tank restores 1.5 per loop. Oh, we could. Could build around counter. Interesting.
I feel like if I drop this low, we have trouble in, in arena. Do I even counter to begin with? I close this. Yeah, I don't have a chance to counter yet, so... <laughs> Only while? Ah, okay. Yeah. No, then I don't like it. I mean, we could try to get some counter attacks going. Yeah, there's still time to build it. I don't know. Let's try it. So we'll prefer items with counter a bit more now. It's a terrible fight. <laughs> well, no one's evading, great. I really like how you can make to choose it. Oh yeah, I guess I could have done that too. I don't, so if you level up twice and haven't chosen a trait, you have to wait, pick the first one, or you can't level up at that point anymore. I don't know if I want more spiders, maybe. I feel like the run is going a lot better than last time so far, but... And again, now is when things get hard. There are some quest mobs. Ooh. Ooh. Some of them are stacked, though. Old game, wow. Well. Like a week old. There are fourteen percent counter chance. Nice. I think once just I didn't get the game, but it was really popular. I was like, I should try it. Might as well try it on stream, right? Soon I've built everything, <laughs> like the whole, whole place will be. Oh yeah, I see we get the healing from the counter now. I like that. Chests are actually nice as vampirism because you'll heal up from them. We have some big spikes coming up. I like the evasion, but some damage to all would be nice too. Because we have big groups right now, actually. It's not ideal. That's where counter helps us too, though. You watched anyone stream this game or just jump in feet first? I watched like five minutes and I didn't get the game. I was like, well, I probably should try it myself. Ooh. Quest mob and vampire. Not idea. So yeah, I'm just learning as I'm going. And I didn't hit that thing everyone drink. Oh no. Ooh, new weapon maybe? Hope of expansion. Oh, I'm sure we can use that for some. Oh, 
sword. There is a level 6 sword, actually, yeah. And gorgeous at least. I guess that's better. I feel like a rare 5 should be better than a normal 6. Well, it is 21 to 29 with damage to all, though. And then the attack speed. I think I'm going to keep the maze, actually. There's another village. We can try the um, village vampire combo. I don't know where though. Maybe here. What the hell? Ransacked village. Turns up to four ghouls once per loop. Oh boy. Transforms into something useful after three loops. Okay. Not always meant to gear is better. Sometimes you'll have one piece of gear that is best for several. But well, that makes sense. I think it's just on low level. It's probably the but um, buffs are or the extra level are good enough. Also, might be what you're looking for. Like anything with counter is more valuable for me now. Thanks to the trade. Man, those quest mobs are actually giving me trouble. I might like this ring more too. Hmm. I didn't notice it, yeah. It would have, like, if I didn't get the maze right after, it would have been better than what we had, I would agree. Like, I, I'll be honest, the gray stuff I don't look at too closely, so easy to miss it there. Ooh, this one has counter though. Ooh, another treasury, nice. Yeah, I think they're actually having trouble again. Like, enemy level 5 is where, where I'm stuck. Or loop level 5, where we're running into problems. Can I just do unlimited expeditions until we fight the boss? It just get better and better. It'd be weird if there's no downside to doing things. my boss part yeah i mean we're gonna potentially retreat after i'll stay wait can't i say why can't i do the retreat when huh. i might get a level up Like, the counter healing is really nice, though. I like it. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I don't think we're gonna fight the boss yet again, unfortunately. Well, I mean, my health is nearly below 30%, so this would kick in. Receiving this effect, and after every loop, the hero receives a bar of phantom protection that equals 65% of his max HP. All damage to it is dealt ignoring the fence. That sounds really good, no? Like, it gives us time to heal up. This bar gets full when you build. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I thought it was just time. You might try this because we're low health. Maybe we fight the boss if we still have shield left. It's disappearing fast, though. <laughs> but it's ignoring the fence, so like I don't, I can't mitigate, no. Although, like, we healed up 300 during this time, like... Still think it was nice. Oh, yeah, we got new stuff here. And of packs and we heard from miles away. It's with lit XP and damage by 5%. Oh, so we could Oblivion those, right? That might be good. I assume Lich is the boss. Ooh. I'm still not sure if I want to fight the boss, to be honest, but yeah. So why can't I... Um, activate the... Like before and it said if I hold, I get the automatically retreat thing, but I can't get that anymore. Was this a beast? But I guess at some point I'll have to see him just to so know what, what I'm expecting. The options. Oh. Oh, I guess I turned it on beforehand last time before I changed the options, I think. Fine. I guess so. I wonder if you could get too many things in a fight here that you lose them before you can actually get them out. It's somewhat lower health, though. to use this. Oh. Yeah, I think I have too many enemies spawning. But then again, we're roughly holding our crown here.
I want to go and camp here. But die is it game over? I have no idea. Um, well, usually it's, I think if you die, you lose resources. I don't know if you die to the boss if it's over. Not game over. But I mean, maybe it's too big of a setback. Who knows? I mean, my health is staying like the same right now, so that's nice. Right? Oh, I can't put that there. So I guess now is the question, do we fight the boss and stay or do we retreat? We got a decent amount of resources though. Oh, it's the 27 small ones and 20 big ones. Hmm. Kinda wanna fight him, I think. Uh, let me refill my drink and then what we try. Right, just to see the boss. Um, because I have no idea how strong he is. From what people are telling me, I'm probably gonna die. But see. hello, Lich. How? Oh, how is this even possible? That's right. You didn't devour me like the rest of the world, haven't I? You really don't think so? What are you talking about? I'm standing right in front of you. Consumed all of your reality. Every one of its element now rests in a separate pocket dimension. Faces, living beings, information, even memories. They shall remain there until entropy does its work, turning everything into a uniform static mass. Along with you, of course. You're insane. So what do we have here? I see. You found a way to interact with other pieces of your reality, to organize, combine, and merge them. But how? I don't see any exceptional talent or knowledge in you. How? Oh. I hardly even understand what is happening, right? I'll tell you what's happening. A pile of bones is butchering my world and thinks that I can get away with it. You're already doomed and you know it. Perhaps you're just the first in a series of systematic errors, a problem I must learn to solve. Let's not waste any time then. I, yeah, I wasn't sure if I would get my armor back or no um, when we enter. But we didn't get the heal from entering it, right? So it's interesting that we got the armor but not the heal. I don't think you're capable of feeling regret, but I'm about to change that. Well, he's tanky. <laughs> 110 damage. Research your health and damage are increased by him for every Lich Palace. Out of the build, but we removed those, I think, so we're good. Wait, no, he's in enhanced by 10%. Didn't, didn't I remove them all? I thought I got them all. Not campfire anymore, but it counts as a loop. Oh, interesting. Oh, well, we are healing a bit from when we counter, but yeah. Look at his damage. 
ridiculous. I think we're fine though. Because we'll take less damage once the shield's gone, right? Well, not really. We're still winning. Nonsense. This is impossible for so many reasons. I don't understand. I'll put everything back like it was before. I can't, I've already completed my task, even if the result is not perfect. There are no position to refuse, it's lack of bones. I already received everything I could gather. Just wanted to see how our crusade against the universe would end, to witness what would come of it. My presence is no longer required. Who is he? I get it, you're connected somehow, right? That's why. You will find out soon enough, this anomaly will not escape his attention. And my explanations would be meaningless to you. So spare me your wheezing and just die. Lack of Bones was telling the truth, I have a long journey ahead. I will build my whole world from scratch if I have to. And the skull of that monster will be the first brick in its foundation. Oh wow, we got gear. You did the thing. <laughs> One resurrection charge. I don't know what a resurrection charge is, but okay. It was a chance to get a whole resource sphere instead of a chunk. That could be nice, I guess. It's a low chance though, but we need to build a lot in town. Resource camping experience increased by 50%. I was 10 the limit we could get. Also, is it just for this expedition or general? Charge is usable. It sounds like it that we have an extra life. I don't know how good that is. Oh yeah. They're there are perks, but I mean, are there perks for this expedition or for all? I assume it's just for this one. I don't think they're gonna last too much longer, so maybe the research cap isn't too good. Oh, they're just the level up perks? Oh, okay. Let's go with rejecting. I want to stay as long as I can for once. Um, while we stay. I hope we get the heal now. Hang on, we got you. It has these no amount of duration, though. No? Problem is, none of them have counter. Oh, this one has. That. I mean, nine percent evasion is pretty nice too, though. One of evasion counters counter. I hope we can evade and counter. Actually, I'm not sure though. For some reason, I'm thinking if you evade, you um, evade, you also counter. But that's a different game. It's unfortunate we got three armors, like... How much defense do we have? 22. So three more defense is pretty nice too, though. Yeah, okay, I lose 10% counter. I don't want to lose that much. out of space slowly too. It's 
so many vampire mansions. Jeez. I wonder if they stack. If you have two ghosts together, do you get two vampires? Could be. We need a better weapon, too. Oh, another village would be nice, too. Then again, it gives more quests, so who knows. Oh, that's a better weapon. Can I see if I still have my um, resurrect thing? That would be good to know. Because it's not up here, right? No. Not sure. Yeah, I'm gonna forget about it if I can't check it somewhere, so... <laughs> A bit unfortunate. Oh, I guess the big ones should be in the middle. It's a treasury. Oh. Oh, we can put it. I guess neither place is ideal. Try by returning? I'm not sure what you mean. I get where the ghosts come into play. Okay. No, it doesn't show. Okay. Well, I guess then I just have to remember. I'm running out of space, actually, too. Instincts. Nope. Playing um, Lupira today. Yeah, I even forget the name. I'm getting so much stuff. It's ridiculous. Man, nothing has counter. Oh, this armor does stuff. Better though. Oh, so after you kill the boss, there's nothing else? Like there's... We need a new expedition for the next boss? Interesting. Are we got low level stuff here. Well, I'm not getting any oblivion, so there's not much I can do about it. 
Ooh, those ghouls are... It's rough, though. I guess we just farm resources and then leave. We need to find the right time to leave, though. I okay, got it. Um, I'd say this weapon is better. Uh, I haven't done this three loops now. This was the first time we fought the ghouls. Could drop another village. Oh, I don't want it here, though. I don't want to spawn it at a ransacked village right now. I mean, the goblins aren't too bad. But... I don't even know. I don't remember what we got the goblins from. To be honest. Our illustrious champion returns. Welcome home. Hello, I am new here. Hey guys. <laughs> it's Jim Beaster. How's it going? You've been playing a lot of streaming a lot of World of Tanks again. Back to the old crime. Pretend Rock Mountain. Oh, okay. I guess that's where we're getting a lot. I might have built. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth it actually to get more. Well, I guess we do heal percentage wise though. Oh yeah, I should just go over them. Yeah, we can. Waiting for a good game. Yeah, that's fair enough. It's I don't know. I haven't been too excited by a lot of games lately, but this one seems fun so far. I'm not sure if it's down your alley though. Oh, it's a bit low on damage, isn't it? 4.8 reach per second. Seems to be a decent amount, but... I actually don't know how much reaching that is. Like, it says per second, but... I don't know if that's a lot or not. That's a lot of HP. Not sure if you can handle it. Yeah, yeah. I upgraded my PC for this. I'm only getting 0 0.8. That is true, but... I mean, we heal a lot from the villages. And then we also have... Um... All the counter healing going on. I mean, you also only have 22 defense, so lo losing 5 seems a lot. Let's put it in and see if it's noticeable. Yeah, I guess I can actually see it ticking up decently now. Ooh.
I mean, I feel like the evasion is going to be better for us, though. The eyes on the Starship Troopers RTS. This will be great. A bit RTS, but a little bit tower defense. Oh, I don't... I don't know the Starship Trooper RTS. I'm not sure what you mean. I'll have to check it out. RTS is always nice. I mean, I guess we could have gotten the region at the tech speed, but... Oh, also trade. Look at that. Plus 1.5 damage for every potion used. Like, permanent? 35% chance to perform a counter attack during evade. Well, that would stack with our... So then evade would be more valuable for us, too. Oh, thanks for the link. Um, let me just open it up and then I can take a look at it later. Thanks. I kind of like the strong aftertaste too, though. That sounds pretty nice. Because, I mean, we don't have that much evasion. See how this works out for us. And remove another goblin camp, I guess. I like how half this is now <laughs> east. <laughs> and villages and quest mobs. Seems to be a new one, right? I've never played a Starship Trooper game, to be honest, so I don't know. We haven't died yet, so we should still have the second chance thing, right? Assuming it's working the way. This. Oh, we already kept with some of them. Maybe it's not bad to return anyway like doesn't seem like we're gonna get too much anymore we could fill this up but yeah maybe i'll go back uh, to town Wait, what? But I had my second chance thing, no? What do you mean, no? I guess then I don't understand what it did. It's unlock perk. Unlock the ability, unlock that perk in future. Oh. Well, that's just silly. Well, then I completely misunderstood. Then I, yeah, I probably would have retreated after the boss. Announcement of an announcement? Yeah. I guess that should have been more clear, Jen. Maybe it's just me. Oh, well. Well, we lost a lot of resources. <laughs> Did we... Oh, we even lose this. Oh, that's... That sucks. Everybody listen, the lich is dead. The curse has been lifted, but... What lich and what curse? I believe you, of course, but I have no idea what you're talking about. 
Entry Matted Sorcerer. The one in a fur coat holding a scepter all shrouded in star nebulas. Floating above the world on his shining wings and eating it piece by piece. That's strange, everything looks the same around here. Why? Guess he's not the only reason for this darkness then. Hmm. Skeleton mentioned him. Whoever he is, he must have something to do with the obliteration of the world. It seems that I have no other option but to continue my expeditions. Oh, there's no way to lose the game then? Expedition started to retreat to camp too. Max number, loop 6. Okay. Let's see what we can build. Don't worry too much about resources. Well, I mean, that's how I upgrade right now, though. Like, I can't. I can't build these things now. Open. I guess we get the field kitchen. Oh, wait, can I upgrade? A prudent choice. No. Oh, hell no. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we'll build the field kitchen in. Build it here again. Get a bit of farm spot later on. You know the difference? Hang on. Top means you can upgrade, but I'm missing resources. Oh, a green means you can. Okay, good to know. But you were waiting for something more elaborate. Sometimes the truth is very simple. Look, I have a cauldron, a hearth, a couple of knives, a bucket of potatoes, three onions, and some ham. Nothing special. Everything is very simple. Give me a few minutes, and everyone in this camp will be running to my table, following the taste and smell of good stew. Okay. Oh, now it's not even showing the upgrade thing. I guess we go on a new expedition then. 